Okay, this question is, if you were magically prevented from being involved in game making ever again, what do you think you would then spend most of your time otherwise spent making games doing? Um, first of all, I don't like magic questions because they're not really possible. So it's sort of like those questions where people ask you, what would you do if you had a superpower or something like that? They're not really answerable because they're metaphysically impossible, so... But as a thought experiment, I guess. Um, let me think. Well, first of all, if I couldn't make games, couldn't I make game-like things that are not games? For example, the Tale of Tales not games movement. I could make not games. Or I could just write books or something like that. Or I could draw or make music or... There's a lot of a lot of things I could have done besides making games. It's just that it happens to be that making games are my, was my favorite thing to do for a while. Like even when I was younger, I used to make games, so it just sort of built up. But if I couldn't make games, I'd have a lot of other things to do. Yeah, I don't think I I don't get bored easily. Just, I spend time on anything, and I could probably learn like any profession within reason and be perfectly happy with it. Um, but if I had to pick just one, well if not games count then I'd make not games. For those who don't know, not games are games without goals or challenge. But if not games don't count then I'd hmm, But I'm not a very good writer, so not writing. Maybe, well, if I did spend a lot of time on it, I would become eventually good at it. But I didn't particularly enjoy writing when I've done it. I mean, I do enjoy it, but not as much as making games. Let me see, what are things that I enjoy as much as making games? I could be a games journalist, couldn't I? I could review games, review indie games, like what Tim W. does, where he doesn't make games, but he just reviews indie games. That's, that'd be fine by me, too. I wish I actually had a lot of time, a lot more time to review indie games and post on Take Source. I mean, well, I do have a lot of time, just that I don't actually use it, because I use it instead on other unimportant things. Which, um, like... League of Legends, I guess, like, I could probably spend the time I play League of Legends writing articles, but you need a certain amount of rest time to recuperate from other things, so I'd probably, like, burn out if all I did was work on my game and then write a game, write articles about games. I need a period when I'm not doing anything creative. So, and right now most of my creative energies are taken up by my game. Um, so, but if I didn't wasn't able to do that, then I'd be able to use those creative energies on um, writing articles for TigSource or any other blog or news site. I probably would want to do it professionally, so I'd want to do it for something that paid me rather than TigSource, which, Tig Source, which doesn't. Like, maybe write for a big download like Dragon Ball's doing or something like that. Okay, bye.